This very quick video is going to look at saving and opening documents. Once you've completed a document or if you've got as far as you can and you're looking to save it before you continue on, all we have to do is save the document. One of the ways of saving is to select Office button and then Save. This is a brand new document that has never been saved before. We can see that because it's currently called Document 1. So if I click on Save, then it will open the Save As dialog box, which we'll see in a moment, once the program responds. There we are. So the Save As dialog box, and by default it will save to Documents or in earlier versions of the Windows operating system that would be called My Documents. Because this is the first time a document has been saved, like I say, it's open to the Save As dialog where we can rename the file. To rename, all we have to do, because the text is highlighted in blue, if you're happy with that name you can just click on Save. If you want to rename it, and remember with file management it's best to give the name of a file as something uh, that tells you what it is. So I'm going to call this really video text resource and again because the text was highlighted I didn't have to delete it, I didn't have to select it all I did was start typing. You could then click the save button and it will save that document in the Documents folder. I'm going to cancel that one. The second option is to click on the Office button again and then Save As. With the Save As, note that this is a dual function button. We've got the little arrow here that opens a uh, sub section. We could save it as a Word document, a template, an earlier version of Word, an open document text, which is a almost seen as a universal file type. We could save it as a PDF or XPS file so that people could open it in different programs if they don't own a copy of Word. We can also save it in other formats. In this instance I'm just going to click on the Save As icon itself, the first part of the button, and again we get the Save As dialog box, and it's exactly the same process as we saw just now. So if I call this one VLE And then in both instances, like I say, you just click on the Save button and the document would be saved in that area. We can see that the document has been saved because the file name has changed from Document 1 to VLE Video Text Resources up in the name bar and it's also changed down here. So I can close this document now. Office button and close. Remember, Office button and close closes the documents that you have open but leaves the program running, whereas the cross, the close button, closes the whole program. To open that document, if I just click on the Office button, and again, as I was saying earlier, we've got the recent documents, I could merely click on that first option, because that's the most recently used file, or if I click on Open, and that will open the Open dialog box, and by default again that will go to Documents, and here I can see my file. So if I open this one, do be aware if we click, if we make changes to the document, and then once it's been saved once, if I click on Save again, nothing appears to happen but the document has been saved and if I have made any changes it will overwrite the original version of the document so I'll lose the original and it will be replaced with the updated version. In some instances that's fine but if I had inadvertently deleted 
this paragraph. If I then click on save, and now I'll close that document, and then open it again. So because I've clicked on save, that paragraph no longer exists. Personally, I will always choose the Save As option because that ensures that I know where the document is being saved to, which is again part of file management, making sure it's saved to the right place. Also means that I can rename the file if I needed to keep the original but also wanted to keep any amendments I had made. I could keep the original with its original name and then I could click after the text which deselects the text press the spacebar and then type in uh, altered for example and click save and it saves it as that different document then I can see that it's the altered version that I'm working on now <coughs> Excuse me. So that's saving and opening. Do be aware we have further options to save. You've got the little save icon up here, and that acts in exactly the same way as the office button and save option. And the shortcut keys for that, you might have seen it, it's Control S, it's the keyboard shortcuts. We can also add an open button to the quick access toolbar. And that's control O is the shortcut for open and that will open the open dialog box allowing us to find our documents so that's opening closing and saving documents within Word <coughs>